Good morning, guys. Hey, just want to take a few minutes to share some exciting stuff with you from the one you're reading this morning. You know, uh, in these last several days in, in Chronicles, we've been reading, and we've been reading about one of my favorite characters in the Bible. His name is Obed-Edom. Um, and so where we started, you know, a few, a few days ago is we have this story of King David wanting to bring the ark, which represents the presence of God, which is everything, right? Like we, we need to be in the presence of God. But David wants to bring the ark, the presence of God, to Jerusalem. So David's bringing the ark to Jerusalem, and they weren't transporting it the right way. Uzzah sticks out his hand to, to, to stabilize the ark when it's, when it's kind of going to tip over, and Uzzah dies. So everybody kind of flips out, and they stop. They don't continue on bringing the ark to Jerusalem. But this guy, Obed-Edom, lives nearby. And uh, Obed-Edom is a Gittite, which means he's from Gath, which means he's a Philistine. Now, we know from reading Scripture he must have converted to Judaism, but, but nonetheless, you know, uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't a Jew. And so they take the ark, and they put it in Obed-Edom's house, for three months. And so imagine like, imagine if the literal presence of God is sitting in your house for three months. I mean, that would, that would ruin you in, in, in the sense that how could you ever live without it again? Like how could you go, you know, if the literal presence of God is sitting in your house and you're getting blessed, your children are getting blessed, your grandchildren are getting blessed, how would you ever live any other way? And just, just an interesting note, uh, we know from Jewish historical literature uh, that, uh, uh, that they say the blessing, you know, it just says that, that Obed-Edom, the ark was there and Obed-Edom was blessed, his whole household for three months. And so we ask, you know, what would the blessing be? Well, Jewish uh, resources tell us that the blessing was this, that Obed-Edom's wife and his eight daughter-in-laws all bore two children a month, each month the ark was there. You know, the greatest blessing in this culture would be to have children. And here, once a month, each woman's having two kids. I mean, like, and there's just so much to that. And, you know, it's not in Scripture. We can't verify 100% if it's true. But it's interesting to think about that, that the blessing of God does, it's supernatural. And, and what we see from Obed-Edom's life, it's, it's addictive. So we, we fast forward to today's reading and some readings to come. And we find that Obed-Edom leaves his house. Like, so imagine the temple, the, the, uh, the ark is there in your house, and then David comes three months later to get it and take it. You know, would you just, what would life be like? You can't go back to normal. And so Obed-Edom follows the ark. He goes to Jerusalem, and man, he just wants to be in the presence of God. It tells us later, it actually names him as a Levite. So this, this Philistine convert to Judaism becomes this guy who becomes a singer uh, in front of the ark. Uh, in front of the presence of God. He becomes a gatekeeper. It talks about his sons and his, his, uh, uh, his grandkids. Like all these guys become people who just have to be in the presence of God. And really, you know, once we've experienced Jesus, it's just a great picture of what the truth is. Like once you've experienced the presence of God, you're ruined. Like you've got to keep going for it. Sadly, what happens to many Christians is, you know, they, experience, they have a real encounter with God. They experience his presence. But the, the cares of this world, the worries of this world creep in and, and you stop pursuing his presence. You stop beholding his beauty and his glory. And Obed-Edom is a picture of, what, of, of not, not what to do, but what to do. Like you keep going for it. You don't stop. You don't say, man, that's great. We had this great encounter for three months. Now let's go on back to life. No, he's like, man, I just want to be wherever the presence of the Lord is. You know, I love the story of Obed-Edom and just his passion, his desire, his, his insistence. Like, King David, put me anywhere. Make me a singer. Give me, make me a gatekeeper. I don't care. I just got to be in the presence of God. And, uh, man, guys, if you've experienced him, remember what that feels like. Remember what that's like. And don't stop. Be Obed-Edom. Keep pursuing him. We need encounters with the presence of God. We need to be near him, close to him. And we need to do like Obed-Edom Pick up and leave everything else just to be close to God. All right, bless you guys. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day.